Hello everyone, in Visual Studio Mac, how we can create CRUD operations for ASP.NET MVC web application easily without coding. So the step will be we should have the model for our data. For example, here I have model vehicle and packages and we can create a new one. In the models folder, we had to add a new class here. I am going to define the model name as uh, let's say payment no that's will not work uh, we can say customers so let's say it as customer so we had to remove this constructor and then define some variable I will say public uh, int id this will be the id so we have to say braces and get set all right so the next one will be name public e string name we are using get set for this also The last one I am going to use is something like address. As a testing purpose, this is enough. Get semicolon, set semicolon. Okay, here we have the model. The next step will be here. Uh, right click on your project, then click add. We have to select a new scaffolding. we have to select here a uh, mvc controller with views using entity framework okay now click next here we have to select the model that we have created so you can type your model name like customer that i created so it is uh, smart enough to identify the path for that if you define the model name here select your application db context so you have to define the controller name for example customer controller so a controller will be created in your project but not in the controllers folder it will be created in the root folder click finish currently it is generating okay it shows it is success now if you carefully look at your project and there is a folder called views inside views here we have the customer folder it consisted create delete details and edit and index razor views now where is our controller controller is in your root path so we can drag that into controllers folder like this so it is in the control uh, controllers folder right now okay now all we have to do just go ahead and test our application by running it if you don't know how we can configure database you can uh, refer my previous videos for asp.net applications so i'm going to say for slash customers uh, yeah it shows customer right so uh, it shows me that we have to update the database that because uh, I forget to update that to update that I can stop the current process of running and then right click on my project then click open in terminal here I can say dot net ef migrations add i am going to say migration file name as customers so the thing is you don't have to specify the correct uh, model name you can use whatever name for this migration file it is completely okay 
so just i am using customs because i can uh, understand what we have done here so to update the database i can say dot net ef database update i already made a video for uh, the same scenario uh, using a windows computer you can refer that video also if you are using a windows so then we can run the application again so i can refresh the page now here we have all fields we can enter something we can delete okay i hope this video helps if this video helps please subscribe thank you